So at the start of this class, I was feeling very excited. Um, this was one of the first online classes that I had to take um, after the whole coronavirus situation had happened. Um, so I wasn't sure, you know, how the teacher was going to be, how they had adapted already to teaching online, if they were going to be able to meet my needs. Um, but I really wish that I would have known then that this professor, first of all, Michelle, is amazing. She's so good at communicating and so understanding. And I wish I would have known that at the beginning because I do get kind of paranoid and I get scared that, you know, I'm not going to be able to communicate to my teacher. They're not going to understand where I'm coming from. If, you know, I can't get an assignment submitted on time, if I'm having some issues, um, so I would just recommend, you know, to take deep breaths, to realize that communication is everything. If you don't communicate, then, you know, you're not going to get the help that you need and you're not going to get your questions answered. So never be afraid to reach out to your professor, to reach out to another student, to even ask a family member to read over maybe your assignment and see what they see. Um, but I think that in this time, we all just need to take a step back, just take a deep breath and, you know, tell ourselves that we can get through it, that we can do it. Um, I think it's really important to just have a good support system. Um, so don't be afraid. <laughs> At the start of this class, I was feeling, um, honestly, just a little, little frustrated, to be honest, because I have already taken um, classes kind of like this before with my other degree. So I just, I just did not understand why I had to, you know, be in this class because it just did not make any sense with my, my career goals. Um, but I am extremely happy that I took this class and I'm extremely happy that Michelle, you were my professor for the, for this particular class because you were very understanding and, um, extremely helpful. Uh, something that I wish I had known at the beginning of this was how helpful your modules are that you put together. Um, I'm used to professors just kind of giving us assignments and then sending us on our way um, to research on our own, which is what I had done the first quiz. Um, I, I looked at the study guide and then I just went and did my own research, not really realizing that you had actually provided everything that we needed um, with YouTube videos and written paragraphs that I'm sure that you did yourself. Um, so if I have anything to say to incoming students is just look at the modules. They're extremely helpful. Everything you need to know is all in the one place and it's all very organized and it tells you exactly what's going to be um, on the on the the quizzes. So yeah, just pay attention to the modules. So at the beginning of this class, I wasn't sure how difficult it would be, what the workload would be like, because it is um, an accelerated class. And I wasn't sure how my teacher would be. But what I wish I knew then, what I know now, is that this is a really fun class. It's super informative. You get to make all the projects and discussions really personalized by sharing your own um, pictures and sharing your own thoughts. I actually didn't think I'd like VoiceThread as much as I have come to like it, but I think it makes everything so much more personal and it allows me to learn better. And um, I think it lets you get to know your class a little bit better. I also think a great piece of advice is to make sure to read everything on the modules because that is entirely what the quizzes are on. Any question that is asked on the quiz is 100% in the modules. So if you read the whole thing, then you will get 100% on the quizzes each time and you'll get a great grade in the class. When I first enrolled to this course, um, I honestly didn't know exactly what the course was about. I thought it was more in depth, like, um, like, uh, like not graphic design, but a little bit more technical. I didn't know that it was going to be, um, uh, you know, based off of the history of photography. 
Um, so when the course first began, I was a little skeptical about it. But when I started reading the first module, actually, no, not before the first module. It was when I saw um, the first video that Michelle posted. Um, I thought that she was very involved. So just right off the bat, I was excited to take her class. And then when I started reading uh, the first module, um, that's when I kind of got a little bit more interested. And I, I realized that it wasn't going to be a boring class because that's that was my initial thought. Um, because when you hear history, you automatically think it's going to be boring. But um, no, I actually really, really, really enjoyed the class. Um, Michelle was a very, very good instructor. Uh, I like how she used videos for almost, every, I think every single module she had. Um, uh, she was very lenient and stuff. Um, and yeah, I think the only thing um, I would suggest is uh, using your study guides for the quizzes because when I first started, I was not using them and it it didn't make a difference because I would get stuck during my quizzes. Um, so definitely, definitely use um, use the study guides for your quizzes. At the start of this class, I was really, honestly, I was really nervous and scared that I wasn't going to be able to keep up with everything. Uh, that's mainly just due to me working full time and going to school as well so it was just something that i was really worried about but i know with careful planning and just making sure i'm keeping up with everything on time like that really helped me it was something that i struggled with before in the past and i think the one thing that helped me with that too as well to be uh carefully like carefully plan everything out was getting an actual planner that was something that i i've always bought a planner but I never truly used it as much as I should have. So this semester, I really stuck to it. And that was just the one thing that helped me the most. I mean, I did get kind of backtracked. And at times, it did feel like I was falling a little bit behind, not just with this class, but with other classes as well. But as soon as I planned everything out to when I was going to finish, like, either all the stuff that I had to do at once, or if it took me at least like two days, two days and a half, like it was just mainly that that helped me. So I would just say, get a planner, make sure you're planning all your stuff out. And it really, it really will help because I, I, for one, like I said, I work full time and I'm attending school and it, it's just something that will really help you be successful in this class or any class in general. One thing that I would have liked to know at the beginning of the class that would have helped put me more at ease was that each week the assignments come at a good pace and as long as you stay on top of the assignments and not fall behind, everything you need to learn will come and follow a logical order and it really is like a smooth transition. At the start of this class, I felt that I knew a lot, but as I could complete the course, I found out that I really didn't know anything about it, and, or that it was more for me to learn. At the first time I started this class, I think it was going to be fun and easy. And I like to learn about histories and stuff and what, ha what they do in the past and how to take pictures and stuff. It's a good thing to learn. And it's, you no, know, it, it gives you a good history stuff and how people went through their times. Overall, I like this class very much. Hello. Um, at the beginning of the class, I felt that to understand photography and its history, I would need to have a photography background. 
and then I would not be able to know as much as I know now. So I feel like if I came in this class without that kind of mindset, I feel like I would probably be um, a little less nervous about going into the assignments and actually doing them because once I started the modules, it kind of eliminated the fear that I had set for myself in the beginning. So one advice would be to let go of that judgment that in order to really understand this course that we need to be experts at it beforehand, um, especially because I'm a person that isn't very artsy or has an art background. Um, so it would just be that to come in this course with an open mind and the willingness to, to learn because it is really thorough and the modules are um, just really thorough and anyone without any background or knowledge is able to learn a lot from them.